Hey everyone, it's Jacob here, and welcome back to another video. Um, so I actually already, uh, like, filmed another video today. It was my R.L. Stein book collection, and, uh, that video is actually still uploading right now, but I have a little bit more free time, so I thought, why not make another video? And so this video, uh, for this video, I'm going to be doing my R.L. Stein DVD slash Blu-ray collection. Um, so it's just an R.L. Stein filled the day today. Um, so it's going to be able to all the DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff. I have of like the Goosebumps show from like the nineties, and the Haunting Hour show, and then just like miscellaneous stuff like or I'll sign like movies and stuff. So we're gonna start with the DVDs I have of the Goosebumps show. So this first one I have up here is Goosebumps: The Werewolf of Fever Swamp. It says Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf on the front there. I don't actually remember this episode, The Werewolf of Fever Swamp. I might not have even watched this episode before. <laughs> Not really 100% sure. And some of these I remember where I got them, and others I don't. I don't remember really remember where I got this one. But then everything inside it's a disc. And there's no bonus features or anything, because... Um, because there's no, like, menus or anything. It just goes right into the episode. I think there might be some, like, trailers at the beginning when you first pop in the DVD, and then it goes straight to the episode. So there's no, like, DVD menus or anything. And that's how the older, like, Goosebumps DVDs were was like there was no menu just like go straight into the the episode or episodes that are on the DVD but then then they uh but then with like the the newer like re-released version of Goosebumps DVDs there are menus and stuff but still no special features or anything anyways so this next one uh is uh Goosebumps the Ghost Next Door there's a strange new cat on the block tut 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 this is a this is a good episode. I remember this one. As you can see, I got this from a store called Community Aid, which, um, and a uh, fun fact, that's actually the biggest thrift store in, in the U.S. is that Community Aid thrift store. So it's pretty cool to say I've been to the biggest thrift store in the U.S. Um, but, yeah, I don't remember exactly where it was, but it was, um, it was, like, uh, when I went to, it was, I went on a road trip with my parents to New York to my aunt's wedding, like towards the beginning of last year. Um, I don't remember exactly where the thrift store was, um, but I know it wasn't in New York. It was like halfway to New York, maybe. Anyways, there's the inside. This is one of the older Goosebumps studios, so there's no DVD menus, no special features, or anything. Just hop straight into the episode. But uh, yeah, that's that. And there's no inserts or anything either, as you can see. That's that. Um, and then, um, those are actually the only two, like, older Goosebumps DVDs I have. Um, the other ones I have here, like, the newer re-release versions, actually have, like, menus and stuff. Well, there's one that's technically, like, the, the older Goosebumps DVDs, like, triple pack thing. I'll show you that in a little bit, but anyways... Uh, and this one is Goosebumps One Day at Horrorland. One Day at Horrorland is a really good episode. It's actually a two-part episode, and there's actually another two-part episode on this DVD as well, which is Welcome to Camp Nightmare. Um, I've got to say that's another thing with, like, the newer re-released versions of the Goosebumps DVDs on older, like, original Goosebumps DVDs. The, the main episode on the DVD is usually the only episode on, on the DVD. Like the ones I have for the World of Fever Swamp and the Ghost Next Door, those are the only episodes on those DVDs. But for the newer release DVDs, there's not just the episode that it, like says in the title of the DVD, One Day at Horror Land, but also includes like one or two other episodes as well. So yeah, that's it. I don't remember where I got this one, I don't think. I've had this one for a long time. But yeah, that's that. There's the disc. Um... And yeah. And by the way, the um the Arlstein book collection video I was talking about, that video is like forty one minutes long. I don't think this video is gonna be nearly as long because I don't have like as much to show in this video as I did in that video. I have a lot less Arlstein DVDs and Blu rays and stuff like that that than I do Arlstein books. So yeah. So I saw Goosebumps Night of the Living Dummy. This is 
This is a couple of episodes with Slappy the Dummy in them, so Night of the Living Dummy 2, and then Bride of the Living Dummy as well. It says he's still walking, he's still sucking. Um, in case you didn't know, Slappy is pretty much like the mascot of Goosebumps, pretty much. He's probably like the most popular Goosebumps character. So, yeah. Um, and these next, like, three, um, well, Night of Living Dummy, and then these, the Night of Living Dummy that I just showed, and then these other two, uh, I all, all these I got from a store called FYE in a mall in New York, and I was visiting, like, my grandparents one time. Um, it was in, like, a mall or something, the FYE store. Anyway, um, this next one is Goosebumps, it came from beneath the sink. This has... Uh, of course, the episode it came from beneath the sink, like the title says, like the title of the DVD says, and then the episode Strained Peas as well. Both of these episodes are good episodes. I think I prefer the Strained Peas episode, but it came from beneath the sink. It's pretty good as well. Um, so, yeah. There's the disc. I'm going pretty fast. I've already shown, like, five of these DVDs and it's only been like six minutes. Um, mainly because the, the, there's no like special features on most of these. So yeah, it kind of like goes faster when I don't have to read any special features. So there's no special, special features on like most of these. Anyways, this next one is Goosebumps, A Night in Terror Tower. This has the Night in Terror Tower episode, obviously. Uh, I don't really like that episode too terribly much, but it's okay. Like, it's an alright episode. Um, and then it has one other episode, which is Stay Out of the Basement. That episode is pretty good. I prefer that episode. Here's the inside with the disc. There's no, like, inserts in any of these or anything, by the way. Um, anyways. Okay. I keep, like, reopening some of these because I felt like maybe I missed something but I didn't. I was like, you know, like checking them. Anyway, it's kind of rambling for a second there. Anyway, this next one is the other one that was technically some of the older Goosebumps DVDs that I was talking about a minute ago. This is, uh, I found this one at a used book slash DVD store near me. You call Mr. K's used books and DVDs for $10. This is a Goosebumps like triple pack. It says triple feature three DVD set right up there. So this has three Goosebumps DVDs. It has Goosebumps Scary House, uh, Goosebumps Shocker on Shock Street, and then Goosebumps Trilogy as well. So, um, actually a couple of the, the, these DVDs on here have a couple of episodes on them. Like, most of the older Goosebumps DVDs have, like, just one episode, but a couple of these have, like, a couple episodes on them. So the Scary House DVD has the episodes The House of No Return and The Haunted House Game, which are both pretty good episodes. And The Shocker on Shock Street. Oh, if you just hear music to start playing, that's a clock that I have that plays music like at the top of every hour. Anyways, um, and The Shocker on Shock Street DVD has the episodes Shocker on Shock Street and Click. Both of those are pretty good episodes as well. And then the Trilogy DVD just has the three episodes that make up the, like, the Trilogy, which is like... Um, so it's like a trilogy of episodes about like one story of about like a little toy town. Um, like three kids are lured to a toy town by an eerie character named Carl, it says. That's that. Here's the inside. I believe all these are eco loss cases, by the way, which means they're like recyclable cases and they have like this logo here. Anyways, so there's Scary House and Chalk on Chalk Street and Trilogy. That's all the discs there. I would say my favorite DVD out of these three would probably be Shock on Shock Street. It's probably my favorite DVD out of those three. I actually have one more uh, Goosebumps triple pack, and this is the last Goosebumps DVD I have. Uh, so this is Goosebumps 3 pack thriller. It has the Goosebumps DVDs Attack of Jack-O-Lanterns, uh, The Headless Ghost, and Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. 
This is the new release Goosebumps DVD. So the ta Goosebumps Attack of the Jack O' Lanterns DVD has the episode Attack of the Jack O' Lantern is Vampire Brads on the Left Skin Invisible. Left Skin Invisible is the only episode that I really like on that DVD. The other ones I don't really care too terribly much for. And then the Headless Ghost DVD has the episode Headless Ghost, Awesome Ants, and Teacher's Pet. I don't really care too terribly much for any of those episodes. They're all kind of meh. And then Scarecrow at Midnight has the episode Scarecrow at Midnight, Don't Go to Sleep, and Calling All Creeps. I like all those episodes. So yeah, that's that. And here's the inside with the discs. There's Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns, the Headless Ghost, and the Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight DVD, I actually remember getting from my local library when I was younger, maybe like once or twice. So yeah, that's kind of my nostalgic DVD right there. Uh, yeah, that's that. Alright, so now we're moving on to, that was all the Goosebumps DVDs I had, so now we're moving on to the Haunting Hour DVDs. I actually like the Haunting Hour more than Goosebumps, I think, because I think the Haunting Hour has, like, uh, more interesting stories than Goosebumps, and it's just, like, they're able to, to do a lot better, because Haunting Hour is obviously a lot newer than Goosebumps, so the special effects and stuff are, like, a lot better, and, like, just, like, the plots and storylines are better and stuff like that. Um, I did a, a video not too long ago showing, like, the DVD menus of all the Haunting Hour DVDs. Um, so you would have seen all these DVDs if you watched that video. But, yeah, anyways, um, so these aren't, like, random episode compilation DVDs. They're, um, there's actually only ever six DVDs of Haunting Hour release, and they are all, like, volumes. For example, this one is volume one. This has the episodes. Really You Part 1, Really You Part 2, The Dead Body, A Creature Was Staring, and Nightmare Inn as well. And then bonus features are Look Behind the Screams and Original Promos. Uh, the Look Behind the Screams and Original Promos, are, those are the same bonus features on all the Hunting Hour DVDs, except for the last volumes, volumes 5 and 6, which don't have any special features, or bonus features, or you want to call them. The inside with the disc, volume 1, and then there's a picture as well behind there. Right there. And here's volume two. This volume has the episodes The Red Dress, Ghostly Stare, The Walls, Game Over, and Alien Candy, and then the same bonus features as volume one, look behind the scenes and original promos. Um, so, yeah, I, I know it might seem like I'm going pretty fast, but that's only because, um, like, uh, um, I guess, I guess I just don't really have that much time to make a, a video right now. I don't really want to explain why. But yeah, that's that. There's the disc and stuff. And there's the picture on the inside of the case. It says zombie. That's that. And then we have volume three. Uh, episodes on this volume are Fear Never Knocks, Best Friend Forever, Black Mask, which is one of my favorite episodes, My Switch is Witch, and Catching Cold. Um, interesting thing about that episode, Catching Cold, I've heard a lot of people say that that episode is actually their favorite episode. I don't really get why a lot of people think that Catching Cold is like the best episode. Like a lot of people think Catching Cold, uh, a lot of people's favorite episode is Catching Cold. I don't really understand that because I think there's a lot of episodes that are better than that episode, but whatever, people can have their own opinion. And bonus features, the time screens, and original promos. Just like always. And then there's the inside and the disc. And there's the picture. Um, seems like a zombie right there. That's that. And then here's volume four. This volume has the episodes Wrong Number, Afraid of Clowns, Pool Shark, Lights Out, and The Perfect Brother. The bonus features are Look Pine Screens and Ritual Promos, just like the other volumes. This is actually the last volume to have those bonus features, Look Pine Screens and Ritual Promos. Because the last two volumes, volumes 5 and 6, don't have any bonus features. And there's the picture on the inside. And I think I showed the disc as well, I believe so. Anyway. That's it. Here's the second to last volume, volume 5. 
Oh, this whole stuff's plastic crap there. Mm. I might pick that up in a minute. This is volume 5. The episodes in this volume are Scary Mary Part 1, Scary Mary Part 2, Swarm and Norman, Flight, and Pumpkinhead as well. So that's that, and no bonus features, as you can see. No bonus features listed. Like I said, the bonus features of, like, a look behind the screens. The original promos aren't on the last two volumes, volumes 5 or 6. And there's the disc. And then... picture on the inside of the case. Scary Mary was actually like the scariest episode uh, to me when I was younger because um, it was about a girl named Scary Mary who if you say chain from your mirror she would like come through the mirror and take you or something like that and so whenever I watched that episode when I was younger I would just like always like sleep with my parents because I was worried that Scary Mary would come through my mirror in my bathroom. But none of, the, none of the episodes of Haunting are really scaring me anymore. Anyways, and here's the last volume, volume 6. This volume has the episodes Creature Feature Part 1, Creature Feature Part 2, Brush with Madness, Sick, and Mascot as well. There are no bonus features on this volume either. And there's the inside with the disc. And there's the picture inside of the case. With this guy turning into a mutant from the episode Creature Feature. That's that. Uh, okay. That's the suggestions on there. Okay, so that was all the Haunting Hour DVDs. And so now I have like six more uh, DVDs to show and like two. Blu-rays as well of like just like miscellaneous Arlstein movies. So yeah, so this is Arlstein's Mostly Go Sleep and the Creator of Goosebumps. I've seen a couple of Mostly Go Sleep movies, but I actually haven't seen this original on this first one here. Um so yeah. It has the adorable Madison Pettis, so you might know as um she was Sophie the President's daughter and Corey in the house. And she's also Janelle in, uh, in Lab Rats, uh, Leo's crush. And then she's in an episode of Haunting Hour. She's in the Black Mask episode, actually. Her character's name was Julie in that. So, yeah. Here's the inside with the disc. I'm pretty sure there's no bonus features on here because it doesn't list any bonus features. Uh, but I don't 100% remember because I haven't popped in this DVD in a while. Anyway, that's that. And I have one more Mostly Ghostly movie on DVD, Mostly Ghostly One Night in Doom House. As you can see, I got this for $4 from a store called Lots Music and Movies. Um, and this one says there is one bonus feature, which is a gag reel, like bloopers, stuff like that. And here's the inside of the disc right there, this one. Uh, there's only two mostly ghosty movies that I had. I think there's like one or two more mostly ghosty movies that I don't have. But, um, yeah. And this next movie I have is Arl Stein's Haunting Hour Don't Think About It. And this movie was kind of like a pilot for the Haunting Hour show, kind of. Um, so yeah, it says from the creator of Goosebumps on the top there. Um, this is a really good movie, actually. I really like this movie. Uh, so special features include I Don't Think About a Music Video by Emily Osment, Scarometer, Think About It, Arlstein's Dream Imagination, and more. The Scarometer special feature is a game, I believe, like a little quiz or something to see what character you are or something, if I remember correctly. And then there's the inside with the disc. Actually, I think this is the first disc that's been just like plain and gray of all discs that I've like shown so far. So, yeah, anyway. Um, and then, I actually got this movie recently. It's probably the most recent Arl Stein thing that I've gotten. I got this for my birthday, like, last year. This is Arl Stein's Monsterville Cabinet of Souls uh, from the creator of Goosebumps. I love this movie. It's probably uh, one of my favorite Arl Stein movies, really. It's a great movie. 
If you had watched my Rolstein book collection video, you would have seen the book version of this. I think the book came out after the movie, though. Yeah, that's that. It says, an original chilling adventure. I'm pretty sure this movie wasn't, like, based off of a book or anything. I think the book that I mentioned, like, they made after the movie is, like, one of those junior novel kind of things. I think this, is like, was, like, an original movie. It wasn't based off of one of Carl Stein's books or anything like that. But anyway, so there's a disc, another kind of plain gray disc, just with, like, green, uh, words and stuff, green letters. You can see my phone in the reflection there. It's funny. Um, I was talking about in the reflection of the disc, and see my phone. Anyways. like the disc to be like straight and it wasn't like straight you know anyway so i get, have just like two more things to show here uh the two goosebumps movies that came out so this is the original goosebumps movie um this is a blu-ray and dvd combo pack i uh, this used for eight dollars from the mr kz's books and dvd's store that i mentioned on the sticker it says mr kz's cds you can see that i don't want to call mr kz selling cds though i don't know Special features include uh, Blu-ray exclusives are also no opening, alternate ending, the lead scenes, cast blooper reel, all about Slappy, Creature Fied, and Casting Gallery. Then also includes, uh, the, there's like two special features that are on both the Blu-ray and DVD, which are Beginner's Guide to Surviving a Goosebumps Creature, and Strange Things Are Happening, dot dot dot, on set. Um, on the inside here, there's a random thing about uh, Shutterfly and Joy Free by Photo Book. Not quite sure what that is, but, um... So, like I said, I got this used, and uh, this is supposed to be a Blu-ray and DVD combo pack, like it says on the front. But if you look inside here, only the Blu-ray disc is included right here. This is where the DVD was supposed to be, but it wasn't in here when I got it. So, since I got this used, I'm assuming that uh, the person that had this before me, um, they might have, like, lost the DVD that was in here. Or maybe they, like, only wanted the DVD and they didn't care about the Blu-ray at all or something like that. I don't know. But either way, it's not there, just the Blu-ray. Not a big deal, though. That's that. And then the, uh, the very last thing that I wanted to show was um, the second Goosebumps movie. This is another Blu-ray and DVD combo pack, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. Um, this one I got brand new. Actually, I think my brother got it for me. It was like a little present. Uh, like just because one time, uh, but this one was brand new, so this does have both a Blu-ray and DVD in it, unlike the original Goosebumps movie. I like the first Goosebumps movie a lot better than the second one, though, to be honest. Uh, but it says a fun adventure for the whole family, and special features include gag reel, deleted scenes, Slappy's audition tape, Meet the Monsters, Making of Goosebumps 2, and more. As well. So there's more special features than what list it, that one of lists, because it says and more. On the back there, like a red. Anyway, so there's a digital copy code. I believe I've already used this code, so you can try scanning that, but it probably won't work because I'm pretty sure I've used it. And try it if you want, though, anyway. Um, and then, then there's the DVD on the left and the Blu ray on the right. Fun fact, I'm actually making a new Goosebumps show that's going to be on Disney+. Plus. Um, and uh, this new Goosebumps show is going to be made by the same people that made these two Goosebumps movies. Um, so a lot of people are hoping it was going to be like another anthology show, kind of like the, the older 90s Goosebumps show. Um, like it was like a different story every episode, adapted from the Goosebumps books, obviously. Um, a lot of people are hoping it was going to be, this new Goosebumps show is going to be just like that because... I think there was quite a few Goosebumps books that, like, uh, weren't adapted into episodes for the the show back in the 90s. But it turns out that the new Goosebumps show on Disney Plus is going to be, like, the same story every episode. It's going to follow, like, five teenagers who, like, I think, like, let out uh, creatures from Goosebumps books or something. So it's going to be the same kind of style, same kind of vibe as the two Goosebumps movies, because it's made by the same people that made the two Goosebumps movies. Anyway, uh, that's all that, That's all for this video. I don't have anything else to say, so of course, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, ring the bell so, so you're notified whenever I post a, a new video. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll of course see you in the next video.
Peace.